what is good y'all welcome back to yet again another episode of ji productions it's your boy ji and i'm back at it again with another banger as you guys can see i got on that ji squad merch make sure you guys go tap in with the merch instagram bro i'm telling y'all i'm about to come out with a whole new line for the staying actually so if you guys haven't already man make sure you go tap in like for real for real stop the cap like go tap in pops up on the screen go tap in but anyway in today's video as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail we are going to be lowering well this video is the unboxing of my brand new suspension. So technically, yes, we are gonna be lowering the Mustang, but just not in this video. Today, we will be doing the unboxing of the suspension. Now, I told you guys in a previous video that I'm not doing bags on the car, and I'm not going coilovers, so that only leaves springs. Yes, I went Eibach lowering springs, because bro, honestly, for Mustangs, if you want a drop, like a good, decent uh, drop out of a lowering spring, the Eibach I found um, gives the most aggressive drop to the S550. I cannot lie, the wheel gap is almost perfect in the front and in the rear, as long as you run some 20s. Now, I am on the stock 18s, so as of right now, you know what I'm saying, the gap is gonna be dropped, but it's not gonna be that big of a difference. I don't think so. Like, I know I'm gonna be able to tell a difference. It's just not gonna be as significant as it would be if I had the 20s on the car. Yes, I am going 20s with the new wheels. I already have picked out the new wheels and the new color. It's gonna be fire. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get straight into the inbox. As you guys can see in the box, you get two bump stops and uh, replacement shock covers for the front springs. And then you also get the two bump stops for the rear springs. Um, it looks like a whole bunch of stickers. They want you to rep them for sure. I'm sorry, man. Y'all not paying for a spot on my car, so that's not getting put on. But <laughs> I appreciate the love with the stickers. They even got some more stickers right here. God dang, they wasn't playing. Yeah, man. These are the new upgraded springs. Honestly, I think they're going to make a very, very big difference on the stand. As a matter of fact, let's go look at the stand right now and show you guys the stock height. Um, Cause I ain't gonna lie, again, it's, it ain't the best. And the stain is actually clean, so it's a, gonna be a good montage. <laughs> All right, y'all, so walking up on the stain, man, rear end, look at the, first and foremost, the wheel is like so far sunken in, it definitely needs a spacer. But then, champ, champ, come on, man. Come on, champ. All four, sheesh. Then we go to the front. Front, even worse. Look at that. Another all four. Jesus. And it's sunken in too. Look at that. So we definitely need some spacers to pump them out just a little bit. And the springs to definitely help. Because I ain't even going to cap. This joint is monster trucking, boy. Sheesh. Let's go ahead and uh, hit you guys with some B-roll real quick. All right, y'all, so as you guys can see, completely different setting. We are at the top of the Memorial City parking garage. Got my boy Versatile Speed in the Toyota. The vet should be back next week, so y'all make sure y'all go subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I'm telling you, <laughs> that joint coming back a monster. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up. Just finished getting some B-roll and getting some pictures for the Instagram if you guys haven't already. Make sure you go follow the kid, J.I. Productions underscore, pops up on the screen right now. And also follow my boy, Versatile Speed, pops up on the screen as well. He got some of the pictures for me. Um, look at the stain, man. Just looking so good. Definitely time to lower that joint. Ooh, thumbnail. You know what I'm saying? Definitely time to lower that joint, but it does look good. I cannot lie. 
uh, finally got it cleaned. Oh, this is probably a perfect time to show you guys the flake that I was talking about. Okay, so it's kind of hard to tell. Don't mind the swirl marks, but there you go. You can kind of see it, the blue flake in that paint. Boy, that shit crazy. Definitely need a paint correction, but it's hella dope that it got blue flake in it, man. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? This is how this thing sits. Stop. Um, like I was saying, these are 18 inch wheels. So they're not that big. So, you know what I'm saying? It's still gonna have a little bit of a wheel gap, but trust me when I say it's gonna be nasty as hell. It's definitely gonna uh, be a big difference in the front for sure because the eye box really dropped down the front, but the rear does look good. Um, they had some pictures on American Muscle of a car with the stock wheels that I have on it. And I can't even lie, them hoes came out. Uh, it made a, a decent difference with the uh, stock wheels. So I already know what the 20 inch wheels that I go with. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what wheels I'm going with yet. But my boy Versatile has seen them joints. What the, you know what I'm saying? Type, gonna hit the, so it's like, okay, so you seen, you you remember a couple months back when I was showing you the vision for Mamba with the candy apple red wheels right so now that i'm showing you the vision for the staying with the wheels that i'm going with which one are you more excited for or you think it's gonna hit more <laughs> well technically technically it's a pony and a gt there's not a ford emblem on this car at all technically See, sir, it says 5.0. I don't know. I don't know the rest of the stuff. I don't know. I, I just see the 5.0. It might be vision blind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Y'all, y'all boys, better go ahead and smash the subscribe button and turn on those post notifications because this build is about to be nasty as hell. Don't get it twisted. It is gonna be on a drag pack. My boy's gonna need a drag pack when his car get back too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Make sure you guys go subscribe for real, bro. I'm not playing. That joint's gonna be insane. But it's gonna be dope to see the vet park next to the Stang doing what the vet do. You know what I'm saying? And I just can't, I can't wait to see this car lowered and had the new wheels, man. But without further ado, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you guys are new to the channel, my girl's calling. I hope that didn't affect the uh, video. But if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications, and drop a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what wheel setup you think I'm gonna throw on the car. And let me know what um, spring setup you guys are running on your S550 Mustang, if you have one, or just your car if you're running a lowering spring in general. Also, quick disclaimer, don't mind my wheels. I know they're dirty. They look matte black. They're not clean. I actually took my car through one of those touchless car washes. I put a video up on the channel um, a couple weeks back. First time going through that joint. I took my car through one of those car washes and uh, they don't really get the wheels, man. You know what I'm saying? And I had to wipe down the rest of the car by myself with the uh, quick detailer to make sure that it actually looked clean. It's crazy because I went back to that same spot that I shot the video at. I don't know if I told you, but I went back to the same spot that I shot the video at for the touch of this wash. And that joint told me to pull in. I pulled in. That joint threw pre-soap all over my fucking car. Oh, yeah. It threw pre-soap all over my car and then broke. <laughs> oh, God. That joint said exit, exit, exit. <laughs> oh, God. My car came out. That joint had soap all over it. That joint then, it didn't... Uh, had to sit, you know what I'm saying? Because I had to go to work. So it kind of like has water spots all in my hood and stuff like that. The paint needs a paint correction ASAP. I cannot lie, there's a shitload of swirls, but it's a black car, so you expect it. But like I was saying, man, <laughs> that's going to be it for this video, man. Make sure you guys stay tuned. I will see y'all in the next one. Peace.